So then, it's time to unleash the beast, to seek out the truth, uncover if we are en route, if it indeed will be a hoot to shoot to loot in what could be the best Resident Evil to boot. Is this game the shit? I mean, we already know it's brown. The whole village wants to know as they gather and congregate. Do tell, do tell, is it good, is it great? A lot is at stake and it is a burning matter. This guy knows. Resident Evil 4 has already been hailed as an all-time great, and as fate would have it, the VR version goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the loftiest expectations thanks to a resolution upscale that would make a raisin look like a grape, and VR hands capable of both killing and cuddling. The graphics will pull you in, assembling atmosphere in sinister surroundings, shadowy branches reaching into night, a church cutting contours of cultish blight, evil afoot no doubt, and monsters too in ravines of towering scale, dwarfing you in stature and size, instilling fear making you pale. Looking at it from the inside, it's hard to believe it's been 16 years. There's even some new physics implemented on the world itself, like opening doors, pulling levers, pushing buttons and using the inventory, all done with your hands. Sure, the knife feels like it's made out of paper, but then paper can cut too. Right, you may have heard it by now, the cardinal sin committed, upsetting the church, getting this guy's robe all creased and uncomfortable. Quicktime events and cinematics will rip your eyeballs from their sockets and force you to watch on from behind and above like an outer body experience and like a fish out of water, dried up immersion leaves you flapping and flopping, eyes wide and staring in disbelief at their daring, the audacity to remove you from your deep immersive plunge. But come on now, you do loot coins from crows and shotgun ammo packs from pitchfork wielding villagers. It's not like we're looking at something photorealistic here, and if you warm your hand on a candle, you can move it through objects without bleeding. None of this makes you forget you're inside a game, but why should that matter? The cinematics and occasional third person bits are a price I'm more than willing to pay. In fact, I'm not convinced the job of VR gaming is to trick your brain into thinking the game is reality, to be truly immersive. Surely this VR generation can't possibly do that. And even in the future, with crazy powerful headsets, I don't mind games being games. I like games. And if developers are hesitant to bring their classic console games into VR because of features they think won't translate well, such as these cinematics, then let's shout from the rooftops that we don't care, just let us play, instead of nitpicking and flaming these steps that paved the way. I for one will clap my hands and cheer hooray that third person roundhouse kicks keeps vomits at bay. So then, the big question that stands as bold barrier between a wallet open wide or a wallet tightly shut. Here it is. Listen. Do you want to be part of the revolution? Because that's what this is. 9 out of 10. Almost perfect. And the future it heralds is so bright it's blinding.